This is the plant, Ceraticarium argentium. It is known as a restia and is found in the Tehope Nature Reserve in the extreme southwest corner of South Africa. In early 2014, researchers from the University of Cape Town and University of KwaZulu Natal in South Africa discovered a small dung beetle known as Epirhinus flagellatus disperses the seeds of this plant. This is no ordinary dispersal story. As the seeds have a hard woody outer coat, there is no reward to the behavior of the dung beetle. This suggests it is deceived into dispersing the seeds. This interaction takes place in the unique vegetation type known as Fainbos, which experiences regular fires. This means there is a strong selective pressure for seeds to find protection. One such way to find protection is to be buried. The seeds give off a strong, stinky odour. This appears to confuse the dung beetles into thinking the seeds are dung pellets. Certain dung beetles are known to roll and bury dung to form brood balls for their offspring. Analysis of the scent of the Ceraticarium seed showed that it has remarkable similarities to herbivore dung. This tells us that the plant has evolved to exploit the sensory perception of dung beetles. On a return trip to De Herp Nature Reserve in early 2016, a second species of dung beetle, Scarabaeus spretus, was observed to roll and bury Ceraticarium seeds. This larger dung beetle was rapidly attracted to experimentally placed piles of seeds and appeared hyperstimulated by the deceptive seeds. Interestingly, as this larger dung beetle buries many more seeds in one place than the smaller dung beetle, which buries seeds singly, they will have distinctly different outcomes on the recruitment patterns of the rest year.
A closer look at the relative proportion of carbon and nitrogen isotopes in both dung beetles and the dung of local antelope indicated that both dung beetles likely feed on the dung of the large antelope, Ilant. This interaction likely represents the best global example of sensory exploitation and mimicry in plant seed dispersal. Importantly, it reminds us that there is still plenty of natural history that waits to be discovered.